How you doing? This is Tom. This is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I'm down in my workshop again. And it's taken me a little longer than I thought to set this up. But what I've got set up is... Or let me go back. What the objective is, is to monitor activities on in this case, the um, VHF and UHF bands using my scanner and using a little laptop that's older than I am to control that scanner and scan certain bands that are not normally active. And by letting the computer scroll the bands and look for things for me, and using a piece of software on this PC which I have the output of the scanner going into uh, the line input into this PC for recording purposes. Then this piece of software now has an option that it will record when it reaches a certain level, when the audio really reaches a certain level. So, while the scanner is going through the bands and not finding anything, <clears throat> the recorder is not wasting any memory space, and it's when it finds audio, it just you know records that and then waits for the next one, records that. So all time-wise, all this is compressed. So instead of having to sit here and listen and listen and listen. For a band that might not be too active, I can uh, let the computer do that and come back a couple hours later and see if it's recorded anything and play back what it's recorded. Now, unfortunately, this program does not give you any timestamp of when it's actually recorded something and when that happened. Plus, since in what I'm doing right now is I'm scanning through a band, so I won't know what exactly the frequency is when something is recorded. Now, my, I do have, and I have no idea where it is, I do have some software that talks directly to the scanner and has a record function, and it will record the frequency and the time at which the recording was made. So that's really more applicable. This would be more applicable for not scanning, just putting the radio on a particular frequency and then letting it uh, monitor that frequency. Now, I had set this same setup up in my office um, a couple of days ago and I put in a specific frequency because the radio I was using um, it was my uh, 750 my uh, Grendig 750 and it was monitoring a frequency on the HF band and the frequency was monitoring is one for uh, military or Air Force communications and that's 11.175 megahertz. Well, lo and behold, and of course this was probably Sunday, so maybe the, there wasn't much activity, but there was nothing on for the two hours that I had it set up. <clears throat> so I recorded nothing. So then I thought, well, I'll try to set up the same thing down here in my workshop because I want it set up anyway. Now set up with my scanner, which I can scan from 30 megahertz to one gigahertz. A whole bunch of things to look for. And there are some interesting bands. For instance, the bands, one of the bands I'm interested in is the military uh, VH band. And this particular scanner, not all scanners will get that band, 
that this particular scanner will get that big. So what I'm planning on doing is setting up the scanner to scan that band. I don't remember the exact frequencies. It's pretty wide. And um, have this in the program is called Audacity. And it's a, it's a free program. Um, and it has tons of features. And I'm just going to use one feature, which is to, let me see what we, uh, okay, let me show you my setup. And then I'll zoom in on the screen so you can see that a little better. I definitely need a camera, man. Okay, here we go. Oh, I crashed. I probably knocked the camera over. Okay, so there's there's my computer. Let me go over. There's the computer itself right there. Monitor, keyboard. Let me come over here and right down there on my desktop. There's the scanner I'm using. You back up. And then this little laptop which, like I say, is older than me, right there, is going to, I don't, actually haven't started, is going to control that scanner. So let's do that right now. We'll zoom in on that. Try to get it in the frame. Okay, I'm going to start this program. It's called ScanCat. This particular version I've got is probably 15 years old. And a little scanning, we'll use scanning in conventional mode, not trunking. Now, the one thing about some of these older programs, the people that programmed them, and this is an excellent program, it's got lots of um, capabilities and including uh, recording but this uh, the problem with recording on this laptop it doesn't have much hard drive space so you can't record very long so anyway um, I'm going to come down and find and I did a video on this application a couple of shows ago so I'm going to come down and I'm going to select the band and I'm going to come down and find that military band. Way down there. It's a 200 and something. Well, it's government military aviation. That's the one I think I want. Which is 225 megahertz to 329. And like I say, a lot of scanners don't give you that band. This one does. Okay, so I'm going to select that. And it's ready to go. And let's see if I can get it to start scanning. Okay, you can sc it's scanning now. You check the, uh, yep, checking the screen on the radio itself. So uh, let me see if I can zoom in for a second and show you that a little bit better. Oops, wrong way. Okay, it stopped on something. Now, what you have to do initially is it's going to find noise. So you have to sit here for a while and let it scan through that band a couple of times and lock out those frequencies that are just noise or whatever. So you gotta lock those out, otherwise it's gonna get stuck on those and never move forward. Okay, so I'm gonna move the camera now around to the other monitor. Where is the other monitor? Oh, there it is. Coming in view here. And we'll back off a little bit. I don't wanna back off too much because you end up not seeing what I'm talking about. I'm gonna just keep it kinda at the top part of the screen where I'll be working. Definitely need a camera, man. Okay, I I may have it zoomed in too much. Yeah, maybe about there. Okay, so now, like I said, the first thing I have to do is 
I have to um, go back to the other program and lock out some of these frequencies. I get stuck on this one, so let's go and lock that out so it won't stop there anymore. And then there's another one. Okay. So I'm going to let it go through that band a couple of times and find any of these, hopefully, all the noise things that it's stopping on, get those locked out so it won't stop. Now, you can see this is Audacity. This is the basic screen you see when you start the program. And here is a level indicator showing the level of the output from my scanner, which I really need to turn up. I've got will turn way down. Okay, it's it. I know what it is. It's it's muted right now because it's not finding anything. And then let me just show you. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. You load this program. You go into this program and you set up a couple of parameters. You go under transport and you select uh, sound activated recording. You select that. So that means it's only going to record when it gets to a certain audio level. And down below that is where you set that level. It's probably not on the screen right now. And I don't know if I can move that little... Yeah, there we go. I'll move this up here so you can see it. So here's the level at which it will start recording. And I did a little experimenting a few minutes ago where I was listening to the NOAA weather station and I set this at, uh, I can't remember, it's like minus 12 or 14 decibels. And so any, any audio coming out of the radio below that, it won't record. So that's set up. And um, you can also click up here where this recording level is that the program is seeing. It's not recording now. It's just seeing that and giving you this little bar here to show you what the signal strength is of that level. Um, so it's stuck on another noise. Okay. So it's, it's like amongst everything else, it's finding a lot of noise. And uh, right now I'm using the um, HD TV antenna with the um, amplifier off because the stations I'm hoping to hear are the aircraft are flying over a bombing range in central Florida. And that's quite a ways from me. I have not been able to pick up any um, traffic so far. And so I'm just trying to see if um, that HDTV antenna will help me. And I may have to turn on the preamplifier. And then I'll have to adjust all my levels again. I think it's um, I think it's now scanning through where it's not detecting um, just noise. It's gone through about three or four passes, and I've locked out a bunch of things. So you can see right now, since the, I don't have any signals, and I've got the squelch manually tuned on the radio, so that will keep the noise down until it receives. A a strong signal that opens that squelch on the radio and lets the audio through. So there's another gate that it goes through before it gets recorded. So again, this is, I don't even know if I can receive anything on this particular band. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop this program. Well, actually, it's called pause. I'm going to pause that scan. And I should be able to, I don't know if this program's got me locked out or not. Okay, so I've manually selected the NOAA Weather Channel. And you can see that the, the uh, audio level is much higher. 
and we can it's not right there that uh, you probably can't see it but there's a blue line which indicates where I have set that threshold and it's not reaching that because I have the audio on the radio turned down so I need to either set that level down or turn the audio up I think what I'll do is I'll set the level down so go back to transport sound activation level and it's running I'm looking at it right now it's running about minus 18 so I'm going to set it to trip at minus 27 so we change it let me move this back up here so it's in view with camera so I'm going to move this down to minus 27 and minus 30 get a round number now about 31 <laughs> okay now it's ready to go and it's down below the uh, well I lied to you because that blue line up here didn't change I thought that was the activation level but it didn't change so now I don't know what that blue line is oh okay so anyway it should activate on this signal because it's higher higher than the minus 30 I put in it so this is the record button I'm going to hit the record button and it's recording And I'm going to turn the audio down on the radio, and it stops recording. So that's the purpose of this setup, is that my one laptop, and I don't have to use that laptop if I'm just going to monitor one frequency. I'm using the little laptop to scan the band, because I don't know what frequency these aircraft are going to be on exactly. Uh, somebody gave me a list of about... 10 or 15 frequencies, and I thought, well, I'll just scan the band, because I don't know if I can receive anything. So I've got that set up, and it's scanning, and I've got the recorder set up now so that it can record when it reaches a certain level, and I can show you how it activates itself again. I'll turn the audio up. I'm listening to Noah Weather, and I'll turn the audio back up on the radio, and it starts recording. And I turn it back down, and it stops. So that's how this program, Audacity, and as I can say, it's a free program. It looks overwhelming, but if you want to do what I'm doing, it's just a few steps I've shown you, and that's basically it. Uh, you have to make sure that you take the output of your radio and you run that into the line input of your computer, or if you don't have a line input, you can carefully bring it into the microphone input. So anyway, that's the show for today. I'm going to uh, go back and have this, uh, have the laptop control the scanner and have it scan that band and see if I capture anything this afternoon. So I'm going to close this file. Whoops, I got it in record mode. I can't close it unless I stop the recording. And, uh, well, I can play it back for you. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it in my off in my workshop. So that's the recording that I did. And I'm going to close this file. Because uh, this is just... I'm not interested in saving this, and I want to save that. And then uh, I'm now ready to, it's still set up to record uh, any activity I catch on my scanner. So I'm going to turn back to my laptop, and I'm going to start it scanning again. And it's scanning between 225 megahertz to 329 megahertz. And I'll turn this record on. Whoops, I got to turn the volume back up because I had turned it way down. And uh, since it's not finding any traffic, then it's not breaking the squelch on the radio. 
So there's, you see no audio up here because it's, the audio is dead. Okay. So let's, uh, I take that back. There, now you see it. There it is, kind of at its minimum level, uh, which is now about minus 35. And now I can start record on. And like I can say, if you click on this, you can watch the audio level and listen to it, for that matter, uh, without recording. So you can kind of set things up. So I'm going to hit record now. And it's set up. And when, I, when it hears a signal comes through the radio, it's loud enough, it'll record that. So that's it. If you have any questions, uh, leave me a comment, or you can send me an email at trrs73 at gmail.com. If you enjoyed this show, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.